are headed out, boys. We're going to ride. We got three of us going. All of us are uh, taking our own trucks, and uh, we're going to drive up to the snow and uh, fly down the trail and then make a fire and just mess around for a while. So super excited to have the, the buddies back on the snow, and we're going to try to find uh, something to film up there. The snow is still terrible, but it's worth going and just messing around. So we're going to take you along for the trip. And then later in this video, we are going to go over some of the 509 uh, gear that we got in. Our order still isn't in. A lot of you guys are experiencing uh, delays in just about everything when it comes to shipping. So only about, oh, I'd say like a third of our orders in or maybe half of our orders in. But we'll take you through it and we'll talk about a few of the gear pieces and uh, and just what we're running this year. So stick around and uh, you'll see what we're, what we're running. But until then, we're going to go ride and have a good time and we'll take you guys along with us. We have arrived to the parking lot and we are getting hydrated and unloaded. <laughs> and then we're gonna head up. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. guys we just got back from our little powwow on the mountain and I am going to take you into the shop and talk some gear real quick. Before I dive into uh, what we've received from 509 so far this year we had a question uh, someone that reached out on Instagram that uh, was curious they they live east I think they live in Minnesota or something like that and as a lot of you know we live in Colorado and they were asking like what gear setups we run out here and uh, like insulated versus non-insulated and stuff like that. And um, so I thought it'd be a good thing to address in this video. So we, everyone that rides with us, we all run uh, non-insulated stuff. Uh, when you're mountain riding, it's a lot different than trail riding out east. It's very physical and uh, you don't really need insulation. And on top of that, when you have insulation, you can't take it out. So what we do is we run um, mid layers depending on uh, the conditions. So say it's going to be a super cold day and we're not going to be off the trail very much. Uh, we'll run a thicker mid layer. Like for example, today we were um, trail riding and it was really cold. So I wore something like this 509 mid layer, but normally I'll just run like a merino wool long sleeve and then my shell. So the goal is to stay dry and then through riding, you'll normally stay warm and it gives you just more versatility. So we run non-insulated stuff. So to start off, these are uh, a pair of the Aviator 2.0s. I normally run Sinisters, but I wanted to give these a try. I've heard good things about these. So uh, this is a gray colorway uh, with the fire lens. Um, and then this is a Sinister X6. This is the shark skin colorway. I really like these goggles and I, I know they work well. So just another pair of them. The other ones have a lot of scratches on them from uh, branches from last year. Um, these are the Ignite gloves, which uh, my hands are always cold, it seems like. So these are uh, actually heated. So what you do is there's this sleeve, which I'm not wild about, but they have to put this sleeve, this upper sleeve on there. Um, and then there's a battery that cuffs or sticks into the cuff and uh, rechargeable, obviously. It comes with the charger and then you, this button controls uh, the heat setting. So there's um, hot, medium, and low. 
So I'm excited to have those on the trail ride back. My hands are always cold. Um, and then this is another pair of goggles. This is the Sinister X6 Ignite. Um, these are the all black colorway. And I actually had these uh, last year. I wanted to get another pair of them. I really liked them. So as you can see, these are them. So they have a battery on the strap, and then uh, you just plug, this is how you charge them, they come with the charger, and then you just simply plug that in there, and uh, it's, it's the same with those, you can either, well these actually, you can have a clear setting, or you can turn them on constantly and have them um, run all day, which for super um, high humidity, and when you're getting, going through the trees and not digging slides, I have them on all the time. And the battery doesn't seem to be an issue for me, so. I'm, I've been really happy with those, and I almost strictly run those now. It's easier to just bring one uh, one pair of goggles. So this is uh, so this is the Baron Stowable jacket, I think. Um, I think they release this for their dirt bike line, but I've always I have one of these jackets that I ran during dirt bike season. And, I really like this jacket. I wear it around just casually a lot. Um, let's see. This is a this is a normal 509 hoodie. Just black with the 509 logo. Pretty simple. Probably just wear it around the town and not up on the mountain. And then here is a. Uh, So these, I ran the Stokes uh, last year. These are the uh, the ether, the ether. This is the pant, and then I got the coat too in here. And uh, these have Sympatex in them. Um, my brother's running the uh, the mono suit, and he really likes that. So we'll see how these hold up. Um, they have some reinforcements in the uh, the inside of the boots, and like I said, these are Sympatex, so it's. They're kind of like Gore-Tex. It's uh, windproof and waterproof and stuff like that. So I'll report back on those. And then this is the this is the ether, ether, however you say it, um, jacket that goes with those pants. So all black. You know we're black guys. Like everything we have is all black. So um, that's that. So I'll report back on how that is. And then the last thing that we got, obviously, is this bag. This is the Revel um, duffel, so your boots can go in this compartment here. Uh, it's a separate compartment to keep wet, uh, wet boots from the rest of your gear. And uh, it just has a couple different compartments for helmets, gloves, goggles. Uh, so we'll do a review on this. We'll see how it holds up over the winter, and uh, we'll do a review on it. Um, 509 stuff seems to hold up fairly well. Um, we ran it all last year. Uh, I ran a full 509 setup. Everything I wore was 509, um, and now Brad's going to be wearing nothing but 509. So I had good luck with it. I like how it looks. I like how it feels, and uh, we will be reporting back to you guys to see the durability of it, but seems pretty good stuff.